Welcome to Last Week in Gaming, a weekly video where I troll the internet to find the latest gaming news so you don't have to. First up, people have been using friendly fire in Helldivers 2 to their own advantage, but it makes absolutely no sense. Helldivers 2 has been a phenomenal hit for PlayStation and PC gamers, but it turns out people have been using friendly fire to try and collect extra resources in the game, but that doesn't make any sense because resources are shared throughout the whole squad. That means if somebody else picks up a sample, you also get access to that sample, so killing them makes absolutely no difference whatsoever. Don't do it. Next up, let's talk about GTA 6. After seeing the first trailer, fans are incredibly keen to see even more from GTA 6, and the next trailer might be coming sooner than you think. Now, this is all rumours, so don't quote me on this, but a prominent fan account has said that they think that the next GTA 6 trailer could be coming as soon as May 2024. This date comes from the fact that Take-Two Interactive's final quarter earnings call is within that same month. If you're an Xbox fan, this next one is for you because the rumor mill around Xbox continues to churn and this time we're talking about the next gen Xbox console. According to Xputer, Microsoft could be planning to announce the next Xbox console this summer. Apparently the next Xbox Series X is going to be all digital, come in white and feature an improved heatsink. Some fans are saying it's too soon for the next Xbox console, but the Xbox head Phil Spencer has already hinted that they are going to be releasing some new hardware and it's going to be the biggest leap in gaming tech that we've ever seen. If you own a PSVR 2, the next piece of news could be incredibly exciting for you because Sony have just confirmed that they're going to be allowing PSVR 2 to access VR games from PC. Not only that, they've also said that they're planning on releasing this update this year. As well as giving the PSVR 2 an extended library, this could also encourage developers to start producing more VR content because they're gonna have a whole new audience that can access it. In slightly less good news for Sony, there is currently a lawsuit that's been put towards them by Alex Neal, who says between the dates of 2016 and 2022, Sony inflated their prices on the Sony PlayStation Store, which means people were overpaying. The reason he's put a lawsuit towards them is because he said that people essentially didn't have a choice of where else they could buy those games because of Sony's position in the market. Sony obviously disagrees with this and said they are going to defend this in a court of law, but if Alex Neal wins, it could mean if you purchase digital content between those dates, Sony could end up owing you up to £500. In yet more PlayStation news, Jim Ryan, the soon-to-be-retired CEO of Sony PlayStation, has revealed his favourite games from every generation of PlayStation. For PlayStation 1, he chose Ridge Racer and for PlayStation 2 he chose GTA 3. For PS3 he chose Uncharted Drake's Fortune and for PS4 he chose Marvel's Spider-Man. Finally for PS5 Jim Ryan chose God of War Ragnarok. All of these seem like great games to me but let me know what you think the best games from each generation of PlayStation are in the comments. Moving away from console news and back into PCs I want to introduce you to one of the most beautiful PC setups I've ever seen. This wooden PC setup was created by Nick Falzone who was inspired by Japanese woodworking techniques. He named the PC Ikigai and as well as looking beautiful, it has pretty impressive specs too. Just check these out. This PC named Ikigai has a AMD Ryzen 5 5600X CPU, an MSI Radeon RX 5700 GPU, 1TB WD Black SN750 SSD storage, 32GB of G-Skill Rip Jaws 3600MHz memory, an MSI B5501 Gaming Edge Wi-Fi motherboard, a Cooler Master 650W SFX PSU, and for cooling he used Alpha Cool GPU water block and radiator, Optimus CPU water block EKWB fittings and tubings, and Cooler Master SF360R fans. Do go and check out the rest of Nick Falzone's work. Everything he does is absolutely beautiful. Next up, if you were excited about the new Mandalorian game that was rumoured to be coming from EA and Respawn Entertainment, I've got some bad news for you. That game has been cancelled. This is all part of yet more layoffs within the gaming industry with EA laying off 5% of its workforce due to company restructuring. It seems like EA is moving away from games that require licensing altogether. This is why you didn't see a Star Wars Battlefront 3 and it's also the reason that FIFA changed to EA Sports FC. In happier news, our favourite Blue Hedgehog is getting his very own free-to-play mobile game called Toys Party. 
It said that the game is going to have similar mechanics to that of Fall Guys, but will feature matches that involve up to 32 people, where your objectives change depending on what you're trying to achieve. In some cases, you could be fighting bosses or other players, and in some cases, it's just a case of trying to survive to the end of each level. There are battle pass elements to this game. You can collect coins as you go through, and those coins can be exchanged for emotes, dances, outfits, all of the things that you've come to expect from games like Fortnite. Moving back to Helldivers, this time with less good news, there have been some scam attempts on Steam. There's been a couple of games released on Steam that are labeling themselves as Helldivers and are heavily discounted, but these are not legitimate games. If you buy them, you are not getting access to Helldivers at all. There's only two official versions of Helldivers, one is called Helldivers 2 and the other one is called Helldivers 2 Citizen Edition. So just be very careful if you are looking at buying one on Steam that you don't buy one of these heavily discounted games that is actually a fake. Check the reviews, check the publisher and check the release date. We've got some more EA news, this time on the Battlefield game. It's been confirmed that the next Battlefield game is not going to be released until 2025. But that update will include a Battle Royale free to play mode very similar to Call of Duty's Warzone. More layoffs are coming to the gaming industry, this time from Sony, who have laid off 900 workers across multiple studios. In what might be one of his final acts, the now retiring CEO of Sony, Jim Ryan, has said that difficult decisions have now become inevitable and has blamed the market conditions for these layoffs. It wouldn't be a gaming news video unless we talked about the latest hacks and this time it's Epic Games. Now this hack hasn't been confirmed and Epic have said there is absolutely no evidence that it's actually happened but a ransomware gang have said they have stolen huge amounts of data including personal company data and that they are asking for $15,000 before they start leaking information. The time frame that the ransomware gang have given is very very soon so if any leaks are going to happen and this is legitimate it's likely to happen this week so I'll keep an eye out and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can keep up to date on the latest gaming news. Finally back to PS5 and this time it's about the PS5 Pro. Apparently third party publishers have now received the specs for the PS5 Pro. This goes even further to prove that the PS5 Pro is probably going to be released this year. That's what analysts are saying and that's what all of these leaks seem to suggest. The big question is how big a leap is it going to be from the PS5, the PS5 Slim and should we wait for the PS6 to be released before upgrading our hardware. Thanks for watching and as I said before make sure you hit that subscribe button because there is new gaming news coming every single day over on my social media channels and every single week here on my YouTube. Feel free to go and check out the other videos I've produced and I'll see you on the next one.